Hey, hey we're Don Broco, and you're watching the Kerrang Podcast. Great choice. Welcome to the Kerrang Podcast, day two, backstage at Reading. Uh, we're with two of Don Broco. How are you both? Very good, thank you. Yeah. Very good indeed. Yeah, really excited, actually, yeah. Looking forward to playing. Yeah, and you are in the tent this year? Yeah. Main stage last year? Yeah. How are you going to mix it up? Um, well, I mean, it's going to be so much sweatier than, yeah. than the main stage. It was really weird. I mean, it's the first time we've done the main stage or any sort of big stage like that last year. And we, it was kind of weird how like how much of a different vibe it was. It was like, normally, venue-wise, it's like we're hot and sweaty the whole show. Yeah. And it's mental. And it's just a struggle getting to the end of the set without, like, combusting. Um, but at Reading, it was, like, all open air. And it was kind of, wait, kind of, it felt, yeah, I guess it felt like... I guess it felt bigger, and because I see, <laughs> but this time it's just going to be like a hectic, almost like a, almost like a club show, yeah. but in a massive tent. That so. tent is huge as well. Huge. Like it's yeah, so ridiculous. We get to bring some cool lights with us as well, okay. which obviously wouldn't work outside in the daytime. So we get to have a little light show. Yeah. So hopefully, yeah, it should be should be good. I'll never forget the moment when your brother got lifted up last yeah, year. Yeah. I was like, that's so lovely. It was so random because you look. You're, obviously, you can't even focus on anyone when you're when you're sat there and you can't pick out anyone then just literally at the back because he got on his mate's shoulders for that one split second I was like I know that guy I saw him um, he's here again this year so he has to do it again yeah he'll be, I'm sure he'll be trying to catch my attention somewhere yeah. and then are you going to play any new songs what can we expect yeah we're, we're, we're playing we're trying out a new song for the for the first time kind of um, today so we're a little bit nervous yeah. but more excited to like just get to play new music so how are you feeling about the new stuff yeah, really excited I mean the one we're playing today especially has got like a great live vibe it's quite loud and, and heavy so hopefully people will be into it and then yeah the rest of the album is sounding really really great we're excited to get some new stuff out before the end of the year and then uh, obviously in 2015 early get the, the package Exciting. did you write um, some of the songs particularly for the live kind of setup not really um, kind of if sometimes as you start kind of writing them you realize oh this is taking a certain kind of way yeah. and you kind of envision how it's going to sound live and it maybe like influences a little bit in yeah. kind of I guess delivery I, but when we write songs we never we never think about it too much it's something that comes a bit later Cool. And then we were speaking to the guys in Issues earlier, and they said that they'd like to tour with you. Um, is that something? Are they one of the bands that you'd like to go out with? Yeah, we love those guys. We've never actually seen them yet. Um, okay. like we've missed them every time they've been to the UK. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're hoping to see them today. Yeah. So yeah. they are. They're next to us. <laughs> are there any other bands that you'd like love to tour with? Um, I think. I mean, it's like a pipe dream, but Biffy Clara are like our favourite band in the world, um, you know, and like just getting to see them last year <laughs> in Leeds yeah. in such like a massive place was amazing. Um, so, you know, one day, I guess like dream bands to tour with, like Chili Peppers would be insane, like they're one of our favourite bands as well. Um, there's loads of bands we just love because we've met, like, yeah. you know, just obviously on, you know, on the road already, and we love, like, touring with our friends as well, so if we can do another, like, LTA, Young Guns, Mallory, you me at six, love it, it would be insane, yeah, because they're always a lot of fun. Yeah. Any particular ones for you? I think, I think Rob's got it covered. No. He's got it <laughs> Every covered. one of them. <laughs> cool. Um, so, have a good day. I'm sure we'll be catching up with you next week for some exciting news. Um, until then, enjoy Red in the Leeds. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you.